Okay, so we're live at the Stockholm Trent College. Aston Manor, Aston Manor visiting the college. Top team in the league has won all their 10 games. So they're 10-0 while the, the Knights have lost just one game. So whoever wins this game is probably going to be the champion That's at right. the end of everything. So Looking forward to this. So you see the starting lineup with Ben 2, Dylan Meglor, Lamin as big men, and then Marcel Kofi and Mike Jara as guards. So um, their leading scorer is Dylan Meglor. He's leading them in rebounds as well, averaging 23 points, 12.8 rebounds. So what can you tell you about Dylan's game? Dylan looks like a versatile player. He can shoot from outside, go on inside as well, has a nice touch outside as well. Uh, looking forward to his game today. Okay. Tip in. The Knights have the game. The Knights start with the ball, but they lose you out of bounds. So, already a turnover. Two seconds in. Guys just trying to feel the field each other. Okay. Okay, so Mike Jarrett with the ball. And Marcel. Lamin John. Marcel for three. In and out. John with the offensive rebounds. So, Ben Tu with the jump shot again. Too short. Offensive rebound. Oh, it's very important. Mike. Dylan with the outside shot. Short again. Getting those offensive rebounds, very important to win games. Yeah. They're very aggressive starting the game, very aggressive on the boards. Now Dylan again, outside. Finds wide open Mike Jarrett for three, and it's an air ball. They say, try to save it. Now Zach Powell with the ball, their leading scorer at 28 mm. points per game. And uh, there's ben, a foul. Ben with the foul. Anglin is fouled, he's gonna go to the free throw line. So this Aston Manor team is very good, you know, they have an American basis, you know, their, 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 their coach is from America, he has an academy over there, gets players, develop players, just kind of like Sean does here at, at, at Stockholm yeah. College. Um, why do you think American is coming to UK to help UK players improve in their basketball game? I personally think because UK has not grown into the basketball that much yet, but they have a lot of potential good players, young players, athletic guys. Mm -hmm. It's just getting the, the system from, from USA back to UK. Yeah, and you know, it's, big, it's becoming big as a sport, basketball right now. As you can see, these two teams battling for the ABL championship, you know, power. Three-pointer by Grodkowski is missed. Abushek has the ball, misses again. It's a very tight game at the beginning. No team is kind of look able to score in the first two minutes. Kofi to Ben, misses the layup, offensive rebound. Now, they say it's Aston Manor's ball. So, everybody's struggling to score, you know, you see, a timeout now by Jamison, he's very mad as a team. What are they doing wrong right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that they need to hustle more. They need, they need to pass around the ball, share the ball, so everyone gets a touch on the ball and just making some shots. Yeah. So. Both coaches mad at their players right now. Slow stars, just one point to nil after a minute and a half. You 
see a player like Marcel, you know, he's a very explosive guy. He hasn't been involved that much in his first minute, but when he goes off, sometimes he can have some big games. He scored 30 not, not long ago. So, wh what can you tell about him? Like, he's a yeah. very athletic guy. Yeah, he just needs to get some easy, easy baskets, uh, trying to get to the hoop, you know, draw some fouls. Once you see that ball go in a bit from the free throw line, yeah. maybe, and the game will. Yeah. Ban at the free throw line. Well, Misses the first, too short. That's the first point. Yep. Splits the pair and tied at one. One point each. Powell with the ball. Gets to the rim inside, finds. Nice pass. Yeah. Finds Anglin for the layup. He's the leading rebounder, Ryan Anglin. Very physical player. Eight, eight minutes, 12 left, first quarter. Maglor. Mike Jarrah steps out of bounds and it's Aston's ball. No, they look kind of nervous sometimes yeah. on the court, isn't it? Yep. Just the first two minutes only. Yep. So substitution. Luke Webster Smith comes in for Mike Jarrah. You know, Coach Jemmy's from trying to shake things up a little bit. Luke is a very good shooter, so hopefully he will help them. Zach Powell, left-handed jump shot. Offensive rebound. Offensive rebounds for right angle, you know. Very good offensive rebound. Nice with this too. Yeah, trying to push the ball in transition now. Webster Smith. Pull, pull up jumper from Della Meglo and he scores from three. They needed this one. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to see the first basket go in from deep. And a foul now. The team gets excited. Yeah. Abu Sheko is fouled at the rim. You know, every both teams have gotten to the line multiple times already after three minutes of very physical game. Yeah, definitely. That's what they have to do, just to see that ball go in, yeah. the basket. So this guy is leading the ABL in three-point shooting, Abu Sheikh, he's a very good free-throw shooter as well. How, how does the team need to contain him on defense? Yeah, team defense is important as well. So even, even if you have to switch, everyone has to make, make an eye on him, can't, can't leave him open. Yeah. And good shooters sometimes they get like one basket and then they st start becoming hot and making a few baskets in a row. So it's important to not let them get get hot at the beginning of the game. Yeah, definitely. Webster Smith with a three, too strong. Offensive rebound again. That's like the fifth offensive rebound already for Stoke. So yeah, both teams are getting offensive rebounds. Need to do a good, good better job on yeah. boxing up. And. Uh, OP, OK Sede is in now. He hasn't played many games this year because of injury, but now he's fully healthy. Webster Smith again, it's too strong. Another offensive rebound for Stoke. Well, Aston Ball, Powell, the main ball, ball handler. Hayden at the rim, no, no good. OP now finds Lamin John. Floater and one! No, no. no they calling Oops. a charge. Call the charge. I thought it was an one, but they calling a charge. So no basket for Stoke. Score still four to three. Ref signals a travel. Oh a travel. That was that basket would have been a good momentum for the team as they're struggling to score early on. It's a tight game, so you know players can be nervous right now. Rodkowski. Abu Sheko. Hayden to the rim. No good. Lamin now pushes the break after the defensive rebound. Mike Jarrah. OP. OP mishandling the pass. Mishandling the pass out of bounds. Aston ball again. Now power. Good 
Bukowski. Abusheko is a great three-point shooter and he shows it with this three-pointer. Can't leave him open. Can't leave him open. He's leading the ABL in three-point percentage as we stated earlier. So they need to be very careful with him. Now Mike. OP Abush. OP again. Pull-up jump shot no good. Wide right. Misses it. Foul now. A foul on Marcel Kofi. Many fouls at the beginning of the game now. I mean, uh, maybe they're too to hyped for this game because it's an important game, you know, but they need to be aware of the of the fouls. They can't get in foul trouble so early in the game. Marcel shows off his good defensive skills by staying in front of the ball handler. They're leading assist man with eight assists a game. No. He's a very complete player, can play defense, a good passer. Webster Smith with the three in and out. Another offensive rebound. It's been like eight offensive rebounds there. This time Webster Smith no good. And another offensive rebound. They're crashing the board. No good. Struggling no, to make break. a basket. Oh, nice basket by Osborne. That's what you have to do. You have to make those transition baskets. You know, our guys struggling a little bit right now. 8-4 to four is the score. Another turnover. And a dunk Check. by Osborne. Check. A dunk by Osborne. So 10-4, to four, Stokin losing by 6 points. 4 minutes left. 4 minutes 45 left. You know, they... they they look to not take care of the ball as they should, you know. Their, their passes are getting intercepted. What are they doing wrong right now? I think the Aston team is just putting a lot of pressure on the ball Another handler. Turnover. Trying to disrupt the passes. And it's working out for them. Yeah. Oh, Lamin John. Maglor. Pull up jumper with the hand in his face, in and out. You know, most of these shots look good when they go up, but then it's been like already three times with the in and out. Travel call. Yep. And a timeout. Timeout by Jamison. He's trying to get his team to respond better on the court. You know, it's a close game, low scorers game. You know, these two teams are two of the best scoring teams in the entire ABL. Were you expecting this game to be so close at this point? Uh, to be honest, I expecting it. Guns blazing, everyone's running on transition. But so far, it's been it's been defense and and crashing the offensive rebounds. Guys are trying to hustle. You know, as, as both team has a very offensive mentality, both teams like to attack and you know destroy their opponents. Most of these teams, these teams, most of their games, they won by like 40 points, 50 points. The top two teams Crazy in the league. numbers, huh? Yeah, and now they just, you know, both teams struggling to score. You know, this is the first serious test that they faced, that yep. they faced in this league, because this is the first time they played each other. And you can Definitely. see struggling. Uh, both teams have great defenders. Mm -hmm. Every, everyone knows the importance of getting the easy baskets and, and stopping the opposing team to get easy baskets or so trying to disrupt the passes. And uh, it's been hard to get easy baskets, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. So now it's Tok Bowl with OP Okisade. Kofi. Guarded by power, you know these two guys been guarding each other. Arguably the best players from each team. Mike Jara open, or OP open. Sorry, misses short, and he Stokes ball. A lot of jump shots missed early. You know, teams the Stoke hasn't got, got hot already. Now another miss. Another turnover, you know, they, they're not being careful enough with the ball. This is like already their fifth or sixth turnover. 
Grotkowski turns it over this time on the break. Webster's mid left hand layup. Oh, yes. Some easy Finally, transition some baskets. Yes. That's what Stoke needed. That's what they need to do just play defense and run in transition. 10 to 6 for Aston. Tough basket. Tough, tough finish by Osborne. Tough finish. He's had some, some, some good finishes around the room. John. Finds McGlore who's fouled. And one. No basket. No. Nope. They say foul before the shot motion. So it's just going to be two free throws for him. No, it looks like the ref signals one, one free throw and the basket. Let's 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 see what they decide. Let's see what they decide. It looked like he came down from his shooting motion before the shot. Yeah, just one free throw. Rims out. Oh, almost got her. Almost got her first rebound. They're very aggressive. You know, sometimes it's good to be very aggressive on the on the offensive boards, but they need to be aware because sometimes it's dangerous because the team can go back in transition and they don't have many players back if they go for the Yeah, the absolutely, boards. absolutely. Gordon with the ball now at the top of the key. Contest the jump shot. Missed. Stokes ball. Transition. John. OP under the basket. OK side with the right hand they finish. Stoke has cut. The lead is cut to just two. Two point game now. They, you see how Stokes is improving their defensive pressure. How big is that for them? It just feels like they're they're feeding off the baskets once they get an easy easy kind of basket. They all get energized. A wide open, open Gordon misses up. Okay, Sadi with the ball. Okay, Sadi again. A three pointer by Marshall Kofi short. Rebound by Powell. Foul. I mean, what do you think of this foul? You know, sometimes you have to avoid this foul, but sometimes it's there, these are good fouls to uh, avoid the fast breaks. So. Yeah. The, the wing player was wide open, and he got an open, uncontested layup, so I would say it's a good foul. Mm -hmm. Busheko. King. Some nice passing from Aston. Busheko with the floater, no good. Kofi pushes the ball. Webster Smith with the left hand. Another left hand layup. That's his second tie game now. One minute 49 left in the first quarter. Busheko, guarded by Webster Smith. Gordon. Some good defense from Stoke. Power now. Gordon, another wide open three. They need to be aware of him. He's been wide open all game. And now gets a, almost gets a steal, but McGlure collects the ball. Webster Smith. McGlure for three, and it's good. Nice shot. The nice game, the lead. Their first lead of the game after they were just four to three. 15 to 14, one minute left. Powell, top of the key. Powell gets to the rim, misses the foul. He asked for a foul, but the ref says to go on. Webster Smith, another offensive rebound. Now, it's Aston Ball. Can capitalize. Anglin, trapped on the corner, finds a wide open king for the right handed layer. In these situations, guys need to communicate. Yeah. Communication wasn't there and the guy was wide open. Okay, Sadi. What? McGlure. No good. Lamin John is there. Offensive rebound, put back, you know. 
the game is close mainly because of all the offensive rebounds Stoke have got. Definitely. So it's good to have second, second, second chances. Even though it's just one point game right now. Powell, one second left. Powell, and that's the end of the first quarter. 17 to 16 for Stoke. What do you think of their first quarter? It's a close game. I would say both teams need to focus more on the on the defensive rebounding. Uh, there's not enough not enough players boxing out. And uh, help help defense can be improved as well. Yeah, I'm sure coaches will they're go. They're being through excellent it. on the offensive rebound, but they have some lapses on the defensive rebound. And also um, Gordon and Okis, uh, Abu Sheko, two of the best shooters from Aston, have been open at times, so they need to be careful. They need to make sure they don't leave them open. Yeah, there were a few times when, it, when the shooters got wide open shots and they just they just missed okay. it, so Stock need to be careful, yeah, definitely. So now, Jamison's talking to the team, Coach Xavier for Aston talking to his team. You know, uh, if you're a coach in a tight game like this, then it's decisive for the season. How do you, how do you talk to your players in a situation like that? I would say calm down at first. This is just the first quarter. There's a, a lot of minutes left in the game, and uh, just playing playing good defense and making the easy baskets. Trying to push the ball on transition. That would be my suggestion. Okay, second quarter now. You know, these kids all have dreams, you know, all would like to go to America, become some pros. You know, the Sean Jamison system here as Hoop Skills develops players very well. Aston Mar as well. Very good at recruiting players, develop them. We had a guy last year going to America, Janai, Janai Griffith, who's in America now. Yep. He's been developed by Sean, all these guys. Dream of going to America. Oh. How big is Sean's present here at the college to help these players develop? Yeah, definitely. I think players are looking out, looking as a as a James uh, Jameson, as a as a big figure here in Stoke. Yeah. And a block by Joe. And then McGlure at the other end. 19 to 16. The game is getting heated now. What cost? Cuts to Anglin, now Powell. Powell to Abusheko. No good. Great rebound by Marcel Kofi, showing his athleticism. Yeah, for a guard, very good rebound. Webster Smith for three to shorts. And Aston Ball. Aston Ball. No, shots not falling today very well for, for Stoke. What other what other options do they need to explore in order to improve their the shot making today? Like I mentioned before, I think guys need to be aggressive and go inside, try to get some Still. fouls. McGlow with the Euro step, no good. John again missing three offensive rebounds in a row. OP for three. Another miss. Abu Sheko now. And Powell with the athleticism. Their leading scorer throws it down again. That's his second down today. You know, they need to be careful with him in the transition. Kofi. No good. You guys are trying to get aggressive. Yeah. And Powell with another steal. Powell, spin move. Oh, what a pass. Nice pass. What a pass. Powell to Anglin for another layup. Very good pass. Kofi. Maglore, guarded by Hayden. Okay, Sadden. John on the low block to Maglore again, another three. This time it's good. 
Nothing but net, 22 to 20 Stoke, 7.45 left. Dylan is getting, he's getting comfortable from that three-point line. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a streaky player. He has games when he goes off. He has play when he misses sometimes threes, but he's a very streaky. What do you think of his shot selection? Uh, it's been pretty good. Guys are get, getting offensive rebounds and dishing and him out. Zach Powell knocks down another three. I'm enjoying. Very tight game right now. Wide open. Dil wide open. Webster Smith under the basket misses the layup. John with the right and the hook shot, no good. And now Zach Powell again. Grodkowski. A three by Okesade. A three by Abusheko, sorry. Another offensive rebound. Another offensive with three by Grodkowski, no good. Marcel Kofi now trying to push the ball in transition. One on three, step! Great jump stop by him. Great layup, 24 to 23. Timeout, Aston. So the, the Knights are playing aggressively now. One point game, a very close game. Yeah, definitely. I think Aston's coach is not happy about some plays. He wants to talk over with his guys. Some baskets were just too open. Yeah. Um, not enough communication on defense. So Stoke, after this game, will have two more games against lower ranked team than Aston. So this is a very important game for them. As If they win, they will probably be champions today. Yeah. Aston as well. Either team, whoever wins today is probably win, win the, the, the championship. Both teams are in the Northern League of the ABL. And, uh, yeah, both teams are demolishing everyone on, on, on the path. So this is the true test. Stoke's last team was on 31st January. It was such a blowout. It was a 143 to 56 against Vision West North College. You have to understand that most of these guys also play in the in the National League Division Three, which is a national national you know a national competition. So with grown men, so they have experience. Now Aston on the break. Anglin, no good. Rebound by. Lamin John and a foul on power. You have to understand that these guys are used to playing with, with big guys, you know, grown men. Definitely, the definitely. National division, they're in Division 3. So most of the times when they're facing some college teams, they already like, they have some experience that those guys don't have. So that's why they're very good beating teams. They have only one loss all year. Yeah, definitely. That's what you want to do. Play against grown men. So McLaurin another three, way off. If you have a chance to go America and play in a Division One or whatever you, the league you're playing, foul on it's going to be a good benefit. Aston's ball. Uh, Defensive rebound. Yep. Marcel pushes the ball. And left, left hand layup by Michael Zara. Aiden. Starts playing aggressive defense. Three second call. Three second call on Ryan Anglin. 
Stokes ball. Moving the ball over. Yep, Dylan with the outside shot. Misses that one. Pump fake. Floater. Another offensive rebound. Farah in. And now Gordon is open again. No good. Out of bounds. Ball to. Right, so now. Good aggressive drive by Mike. Yep. That's what the team needs. He gets fouled, now he's going to go to the free throw line. Stoke. Three minutes twenty-eight left. You know, Lamin John to the rip, to the free throw line now. Very tight game. You know, it's been a close game. Yeah. Two of the best teams. So Lamin makes both. 30 to 25 to, for Stoke. Zach Powell again. He's been very aggressive today. Nice pass inside. Uh, misses the shot. Hayden misses. Kofi with the rebound. Kofi. You know, Mar Marcel Kofi has not be been very aggressive scoring today. He's been setting up his teammate, playing good defense. But normally he's more aggressive on the boards. You know. Power. Fans wide open. Obusheko. No good. Have to be careful with him. Power now. Power now with the score. Nice block by Powell. Nice defense by Aston, yeah. On the transition Obusheko now. Obusheko in transition to Powell. Bounce pass, Left -handed. turn easy. Okay. So he's doing it at both ends. You see him with the block earlier. Stand with the left hand. Right. Both. Nice pass. Enjoy. Couldn't make the basket. And 30 to 29, so just a one-point game. Two minutes left. 
Stoke is winning 30 to 29. Nice defense right there. A wide open three point. Trying from to find the that corner. shooter. Osborne from three from the corner, and Aston is leading by two points. Mike Jar with the left hand layup, and it's 32 to 32 now. Minute and a half left on the second quarter. Yep. Aiden open. Another shot from outside. Another three, no good. Light John pushes the ball. Kofi. Oh, hard foul by Powell. That should be a flagrant. Good aggressive drive to the basket. He landed awkwardly. He shakes it off. He's fine. They will go to the free throw line. Two free throws. I think the ref called the uh, uh, regular foul, so yeah. you know they will not have possession after the ball. It's just a common. The defender was gone for the ball. Yeah. It was just because the guys were high in the air. Yeah, that you, was you landing. Be, especially in basketball, it's very risky, especially around the rim. You see some, sometimes you see some very serious injuries. So you have to be careful. No, Stoke have had some injuries, especially the Division Three team on the college team. Webster Smith and uh, OK Sade missed many games, you know, how frustrating is it to deal with injuries in basketball? That's definitely frustrating. If you're an athlete, you always want to be on the court and play. You can ha can help your team if you're on the sidelines. Yeah. As a competitor, it's very hard. Hayden at the rim, no good. Offensive rebound by Osborne. Ball. Wide open for shot. three. Jara now is fast break. Webster Smith to the rim with the right hand. 36 32 Stokes. 38 seconds left. I think Stokes' strength is speed. Once they get those boards, if they have a chance to run a fast break, that's what they should do every single time. Yeah, exactly. They've been very successful in transi transition. Yeah. So Coach Xavier is, 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 is very hyped today. You know, sometimes he gets very angry with his team because Aston, Aston is not, is, they're not used to losing because they won every game today. So sometimes they struggle when you, you know, facing this team that's one of the best, one of the best teams in the, in the league. 13 seconds, one shot. 13 seconds left. Aiden, top of the key. Still by Theo Jared, who just texted in recently. A block by Lamin John. Six, five, stuck with the boom. Mike Jara finds three pointer at the buzzer by Theo Jared. No good. Half time now, 36 32 for Stoke. And now, you know, this first half has been very tight. Both teams struggling at times. You know, these are two teams that average. You know, uh, around 80 90 points every game but, you know facing each other two of the best teams facing each other they struggle because no no they don't know each other and they're not used to facing very good teams yeah what what do you take from this first half today um i would say stoke still had a good good shots they had a lot of open shots but today unfortunately they didn't make all of them um, but transition offense was quite good for Stoke. That's what they kept. Yeah, they are just playing how they play, how they usually yeah. play. Uh, it's just shots not falling. Yeah. Game is still tight. Game is still four Everyone's points. Game definitely. Yeah. 
it's a good thing that they're leading on, on, on a day that their shot is not going down as usual. They, 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 they've been very aggressive on the boards, especially offensively. They, they had already double digits offensive rebounds. Yeah. Especially guy like Lamin John has been very good today. What do you take from his performance? He's been very active, very active on the offensive boards especially. Has been running the fast breaks as well, dishing out in the open guys. So Lamin had 33 points just in his last game. And uh, Dylan, who's leading the team, is scoring. He had a couple of threes. He, he was missing at the beginning of the game. But right now, he's, he's getting in his groove. What do you expect from him in the second half? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a good shooter, so I would say it's just a matter of time before he's, warm, he's warmed up. All right. So we'll see you at the beginning of the second half in around eight minutes. See you soon. So now this is just a four point game. What does Stoke need to do in the second half to close it? Just play the same defense that they played all games so far. Most of the times it's been great. And uh, just keep taking open shots, drive to the rim hard. Aston is still in the locker rooms, so their coach is probably making some strategies to try and surprise Stoke in the second half. What can you tell us about Aston uh, high score leaders? How are they doing this game? Yeah, Zach Powell, as usual, he's being very aggressive, scoring very well, you know. He has a complete package, he's athletic, he can get to the rim, shoot the three. You know, Marcel is guarding him most of the time, he's doing a good job of containing him, but, you know, of good offense, always beat good defense, as we say. So, our guys, you know, there's not one guy that's been dominant, but most all the guys are sharing the ball well, you know, they're getting involved. Yeah. Leading by four points now. Now in the second second quarter. In the third quarter we will see how the game goes. But I I I, I think they need to involve Marcel more. Marcel gets needs to get more involved, especially on offense. He needs to drive more. Because now he's he's probably concerned more about involving his teammates. But we can we know that he's He's a very explosive guy, he can get to the rim at will, so he needs to start using that more. Ben, third quarter starting, Maglou. Damien Jones, Kenneth Thwaites, right hand, no good. Ben with an offensive rebound. Two offensive rebounds. John, no good. No. And a jump ball. There have been a lot of offensive rebounds yeah. for Stoke, but even when they get the offensive rebound, most times they, they're not able to finish. Yeah. They're not able to put the ball back in, and now it's Aston Ball with Gordon. Nice inside passing. Oh, Sheko open for three. Luckily, there was a foul. They left him open again. He's had already two three pointers today. Stoke ball. You see, Webster's man, you know. You wouldn't say he's that athletic, but he's an extremely athletic guy. He can pull up some dunks. He's a good shooter as well. You know, he just came with, from injury. Moving the ball. Now Marcel Kofi with the right hand and lay of 38-32. See, Marcel is starting to get more aggressive on, on scoring. It all started by a good ball, ball movement by Stoke. Powell. 
Aiden inside. Rejected. Angling with the ball now. Gordon. Good defense by Stoke, but they get the rebound and the shot clock violation. Great defense by Stoke in this sequence. And most definitely. Aston players look a bit stagnant. Marcel Kofi. John. They should keep, uh, see, keep the ball see, moving. See this play with, with Webster running up behind the screens. Another offensive. He must have had already like seven or eight offensive rebounds. Lamin John. Very aggressive on the boards. Kofi. Takes one on one. Webster Smith. For three. No good. Another, Another offensive, offensive rebound. rebound. But a turnover here. Osborne steals the ball. Angling. Obiseko. Angling. King. Aston slowing the ball down. Osborne to King. King under the rim, right hand, no good. Dylan with the rebound. Kofi on the break. Kofi with the right hand. Great athletic play. Now he's it looked like he almost lost the ball going up. Yeah, he almost lost it going up, but luckily he was to able to put it back in. You know, as I said, he needs to be more aggressive scoring in the third quarter. And now in the first three minutes, he already has two field goals. So, Sean, Jameson hasn't been rotating his guys much. Apart from uh, OP, the, all the other guys have played very few minutes. We've seen only Theo in, for a few minutes at the end of the at the end of the game. Do you think that him playing his starters for so long will have an effect at the end of the game? Yeah, I think so. I think Sean wants wants the starters to get get comfortable with the ball, and if he sees that they're getting tired, I'm sure he will make a sub. But the game is very tight. No one he believes that starters should be controlling this game for now. Magloa, Bentu, wide open jumper to score. Obusheko on the break, guarded by Webster Smith. Good, good job by him to stop him. Osborne thinks about the three, don't, doesn't take it. Aston's taking his time now. Gordon. Anglin, no good. Another rebound by Marcel Kofi, who then loses the ball. Anglin. Three-pointer by Obusheko. No good. Stokes. Contested shots. The game Pass. is becoming a little sloppy right now. Maybe both teams are starting to feel the tiredness. And, uh, Stokes ball, 5.55 left. Aston is bringing some time. subs out. Yeah. yeah, Mike's come back in for Webster Smith. How would you rate Webster Smith's performance off the bench? Uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. He's been hustling all over the place, making the right plays, playing good defense. Yeah. It's been a very valuable player for the Stoke. Osborne to the rim, fading, and angling with the offensive rebound and put back. He's been very active on the on the board. He's a leading rebounder. Mike Jarrett. So Mike hasn't been using his shot as, as much today. You know he's the best shooter on the team, especially from three. Another inside basket by Stokes. 42-37 for Stokes. Three-pointed by Osborne. No good. And now wide open fast break for McGlure. McGlure with the dunk. Throws it down. 
44-37 Stoke, 450 left. Great defense leading to great offense, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. That Stoke strength in this game. They've yeah. been punishing Aston's team by fast breaks. Yeah, you know, they're a very good team on the bricks. Coach Jamison emphasizes all the time to like be play very well on defense and then use the fast breaks. That's the quickest way to get good points. And now a substitution for Aston. Obusheko comes in for Osborne. He lost the ball on his way up. Lamin John, you know, a great play set up by Coach Jamison to find himself open and now foul. Ben, Ben's foul on power. Aston will get two shots. And see, with this, with this defensive intensity, Stoke got two wide open layups at the rim in the last two plays. That's what they need to do. This team. Is a very good team. Aston is a very good team, but they're not as experienced as them. So they need to use their experience, that experience in their advantage. Definitely. Second free throw. Good. 46-38. Emilia Travel gets the ball back. Mike Jara bent you wide open. Jumper is good. 48 38. Knights up by double digits. Four minutes left in the third first quarter. double digit lane for Stoke. Yes. Are oh, they getting more confident in this third quarter? Power. Aiden. Aiden with a nice turnaround. Jara. Tough shot. Tough shot, yeah. Almost a turnover by Stoke. Marcel Kofi to Ben Tu. No good. Aiden with another rebound. Obusheko finds Powell on the break. Powell with the Euro step. Misses. Misses the ball on his way up. Stokes ball. Aston tried to run on the fast break. But couldn't capitalize. You know, Powell is a very good player, but he's probably carrying the load by himself of the from the opponent's team. You know, sometimes he doesn't get much help from his teammates, especially in this game. But that's a good thing for Stoke, because when you're playing against a team that relies on one player, some people say you have to let him go off and just, even if he scored 30 points, the main thing is to keep the team away from scoring much. Some others say that you have to guard him. What, what, what would be your... The first three As Mike history, what would be your opinion on the subject? Yeah, uh, I would some teams you play that strategy, but it's it's not the case here. Stowe has been shutting him down all game. Uh, foul and end one. Zach Powell again. He will go to the free throw line for a chance to make it a three point play. See him with the athleticism, the explosiveness at the rim. Nine point game, 2.46 left. Still a lot of time left. Yeah. Substitutions from Aston team. Yeah. Osborne and Anglin come in. So Stoke with the ball, three minutes, 240, 2.40 left in the third quarter. Eight point game. Marshall nearly loses the ball. He gets it back. Now he gets to the rim. Nice play. You see, that's what I mean. Once he gets aggressive and gets to the rim, he's pretty much unstoppable. Aston gambled on that steal, and Marshall capitalized on it. You reach Atich. Mike Jara. Mike Jara. Another drive in. Oh, wow. 
guys, we almost missed it. Aston's coach really unhappy with the with the players. Yep. It's been two drives by Stoke to the basket with no no so not so much defense. Yep. Obusheko for three. Uh, Very good defense on that Plaza. Yep. Stokes ball is the ball got stuck on the rim. You know, this guy is a very good shooter, but they limited him today. He's been shooting low percent. He made two threes, but Stokes he, defense has yeah, been Stokes very good. Stokes defense has been very good, especially on him. At the beginning, after he made those two threes at the beginning of the game, now they checking him very well. Ben with the ball, find Jara in the baseline. Jara pull up jumper is good. Nice jump steps to get rid of that defender. That's Mike's second consecutive shot. Yeah. He's getting a rest. You know, he's a very good shooter. You know, speaking about Mike, most of most of his game is about just shooting. Yeah, he always saying, when you speak with him, he's always saying, I need to get more aggressive. I need to start getting more to the rim. He has the body to do it. He's not as tall as, 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 as other guys, but you can see he has the body, he has the quickness to do it. It's just a matter of mentality. Yeah, exactly. That's that's mostly always the case for players. So, what do you think of Sean's game plan? You know, he's not feeding the post much. He's not running isolation. Most of it is just distributing the ball, running plays to get people open, and just shooting mid-range of threes. What do you think of his game plan? Yeah, it's been working out so far. They have a decent lead, 12 points. Whenever they have a chance to run, they, they, do, they do that. Transition offense has been paying off. So Aston has no losses this year. They're 10-0. And, and now they're down by 12 against Stoke. Foul on Ben is going to go to the line for a couple of free throws. Good pass inside. Yeah. So if you're a team that are like Aston that has always beat their opponents by 20, 30, 40 points and now you're down by 12, what are you thinking if you're the coach? Um, I would say the guys to calm down and uh, exploit the opposite opposing team's weaknesses. So. So far, Aston has been scoring inside, so I would use I would use the bigs, try to get the ball inside more, and try to get some fouls. Yep. Osborne mishandles the pass out of bounds. Stokes ball. Forty-six seconds left. 14-point game, Stokes up 57-43. And talking about Coach Jemison, you know, his program, Hoop Skills here, a lot of kids coming in, learning about basketball. You know, he's getting bigger and bigger. I, what do you think of his method? Because he's a, a very straightforward coach. He brings kids in, he, promise, he doesn't promise them nothing, because all depends on their hard work, but he's pushing the guys all the time. Yeah, they have. I've heard that the practices are quite tough, and uh, surely that that benefits the players as well. <clears throat> as you can see, them on the court, they they improve game by game. They're getting stronger as well. They're, they're working out in the gym and um, just taking care of their bodies. Yeah. And on the bench, you have Elias Morrison, who is a Division Three player, as you know, but. He plays with these guys in the Division 3 every, every weekend. And now he's assistant coach for Sean, assisting them in the, in the process, in the, in the under-16, in the ABL. How important is his, pro, is, is his presence to help these guys out? Yeah, it's it's definitely, definitely important. He's like a mentor for them as well. Yeah. Always around with the guys, telling them what to do with them. You know, it's, Situation. Foul on Marcel Kofi goes another foul. 
Coach Xavier is very angry with his team. As they're down by 14, still 40 seconds left. Inbound. Marshall goes in, going inbound the ball. Enjoy. Stock trying to get an open shot. Marcel misses from outside. Scramble. Another miss. miss. And now the refs are talking to the players to try to calm them down a bit, you know, when it's a tough game like this, tempers can flare out. Yeah. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Just guys being competitive. Yeah. So Aston's ball, Powell, running the point. Osborne for three way off Stokes score. That was a forced shot right there. Yeah. Stokes is doing a good job on defense to make them force this shot. And now full court pass by Marshall. By Lamin John finds Benty. What a pass. No, he caught the defense slipping a little bit. He saw Ben all the way up the court. Great awareness by him. Yeah. And now his teammates are hyped. Definitely. It's a six point game right now for one quarter to go. Yeah. End of the third quarter. See that buzzer beating layup by Bentu, 16 point game. So now Stoke has all the momentum. Aston is nearing his first loss on the season. So if Stoke win this, they're probably going to be champions. In the fourth quarter, what do they need to focus on to end the game successfully? I mean, for the Stoke, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say Stoke just needs to continue what they've been doing. Just play aggressive defense. If you have a chance to run on a fast break, keep doing that. It's been successful all game long. Open shots, take open shots, three pointers. You missed some, you made some. You know, I'd say now that you're off 16 in the fourth quarter, you need to be smart. You need to make good decisions with the ball, keep this lead. You know, you don't have to like go all out, all you need to do is just be smart and bring home the double. It can be dangerous to play like that as well. If you're not confident about your shot and you're trying to waste your time, it can can be a negative thing as well yeah, for the team. Because be yeah. 10 minutes is a long time. Yeah. And this team is a very good offensive team, Aston, so they might come back at any moment. So Stoke needs to be very careful. 59-43. Aston inbounding. Foul by Mike. Foul on Mike. On Obusheko. Obusheko inbounding. Obusheko from the corner. Three. No, Wide he's missing shot. again. Another fast break. Meglo finds Mike Jarrah left hand layup. You know, Mike is very good with both hands around the rim. He finishes yeah, definitely, right definitely. Hand. Left hand. He's been working on it. Oh, what a pass. Nice, nice play by right there. Yeah. Finds Angry under the basket. 61-45. It's a lazy pass there. Aiden, Aiden with the steal. And scramble. Aiden has it now to Osborne. To Gordon, excuse me. Power. Finds Gordon. Gordon to Hayden. Hayden under the basket. Hayden misses. And now a jump ball. Great hustle by Stoke. 
Stock been fortunate for a few times. Aston ha had some open shots. They just missed, missed some wide open threes. It's definitely not over yet. And now Coach Xavier is very angry at his team. Inbound by Stoke. Lamin John finds Ben Chu. Yeah. Stoke is going to run the clock a little bit now. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Ben with the left hand, no good. Zach Powell with the rebound. Jump ball now. player used so far by Aston. Stoke used eight players. Now Andrew. Marcel with the steal. Marcel with the steal. Mike for three. And it's through. Let us it in. 64-45. 19 point game. Stoke is rolling now. Mike has been playing very well on his second half. Another full court pass this time stolen by Zach Powell. Powell's fine. Angling under the rim. Misses Stokes ball. Timeout called by Aston. Now the rhythm of the game has slowed down a little bit. Both teams start to get a little tired. That's kind of a good team for Stoke. So yeah. that Aston can make a comeback. It's a 19 point lead 19 now. Point lead. Were you expecting the game to be that that lopsided in the fourth quarter? Because both teams are very good. This team is ranked higher than Stoke actually, so you would expect to be a close game, but now it's already a nine point game. Yeah, I think I think Aston's team is a bit disappointed because of their shots. They had a lot of open shots and they just missed it. So I think they're just a bit of down on themselves just just because it's not falling for them, but they should be just focused on attacking the basket, getting to the three point line. And if you have an open shot, take it. Some of the shots are forced. So, uh, uh, so now, Stokes ball. See, now. Astos try, trying to do a full court press, trying to get possession of the ball early. Nearly working there. And they get a jump ball, you know. Stokes needs to be careful in this situation. I call the travel. A travel called. What is the main key to breaking a press like this? I would say you need to be sharp, you need to communicate with your players. You need to pass the ball well. Once you get the ball over the half, you can use that to get some easy baskets. Power misses a three. Kofi with the rebound. Benji with the rebound. Oh, nice step. Misses the right handed layup. Powell in transition. Running the break. Stop. Finds Aiden. Aiden blocked by Ben. No. And very, he's been very good today protecting the rim. Stoke. He's been consistent all season long. Yeah. With these block shots. Oh, hey, Aston is playing inside now. That's what they need to do. Yeah. This guy, Hayden, is very. He's a very, very big presence inside. He can finish with his right hand and his left hand, especially around the great rebounder. Mike, open, finds Mars, finds. Lamin Jones, excuse nice me, play. what a game by him today. He's been all over the place, offense, defense. One of nice his, play, nice play by Mike. Yeah. One of his best games of the season. Marcel Kofi. Aston has eased the press a little bit now. Kofi to the rim, no good. Misses the high open layup. Zach Powell. Pulls up at the free throw line. It's good. 66 51, 15 point game. Aston still pressing full court. And a steal. Gordon. Nice, nice, nice. Intelligent play by Marshall to start the game. Stoke is getting careless with the ball. Aston is pressuring them very hard now.
6.19 left. It's definitely winnable for Aston. If yeah. they yeah, a 15 point lead is big, but it's not impossible to overcome. Especially if you leave. Obusheko open. Another three for him today. It's only a 12 now it's just a 12 point. Uh, Mike stepped out of bounds. You see, these are the kind of mistakes that they, they don't need to do in a moment like this. With the pressure mounting on them. That full court press has been working out very well for Aston. Yeah. They cut the lead to just 12. It was 19 point lead just a few minutes ago. King. Block shot. Block shot. Still running on transition Lani break. Break. One man, one man show him, but he foul, blocking foul, blocking foul, call on Aston, so he takes both. 5.47 left. So good for passing for Stone. Stone wide open three pointer by Mike. Another three for Mike Jara. As I, as I said earlier, he's a very good three point shooter, especially when he gets himself open running off screen. Rebound by King, find Powell, lefty. See, both Powell and Obusheko are left handed players and are very good shooters. How difficult is it to guard players that are left handed? Yeah, there's, uh, there's more difficult players that uh, are not used to playing against left-handed players. I mean, stock players are not used to playing against left-handed players. Because uh. in our team, all players are left-handed. Yeah. Now, McGlure, no foul called by the ref. Good defense by Aston, now they're running transition. And now a foul called. A foul called before the shot. As Obusheko went crashing. Sixty-nine, fifty-six, five minutes, eleven left in the fourth quarter. So needs to close this game out before it gets too complicated. Stock players trying to calm themselves down. Right now they're feeling a bit of pressure. Still a pretty good, decent lead, thirteen points. Yep. Five minutes to go. Called a flagrant foul on Stokes, so now two free throws and possession of the ball for Aston. Obusheko at the, at the free throw line splits a pair, makes the second. Now King inbounding the ball. Power. Osborne for three, no good, great rebound. Marcel with a good Marcel defensive again. rebound. Aston still pressuring. Always primary ball handling for Stoke. Lamin. John, pick and roll with Ben. Now Lamin gets to the paint with his right hand, no good. Then Aston Powell on the up. break. Nice, nice play. Nice play. Ten point game, four minutes left. Still a decent lead, but Stoke is going to. And Ben misses the dunk. Unbelievable. Still a ten point game. A good lead, but Aston is pushing the ball now, and Mike tries to calm his team down a little bit, run the clock a little bit. Nice, Mike. To Marcel, then OP. Stoke needs a good shot. You can pass the ball around and get an open shot. Foul called. Foul called on Obuseko. Stokes ball. Playing players getting frustrated yeah. as well. Aston players getting more and more frustrated now as they call a timeout now to gather all the ideas. So it's a 10 point game, three minutes left. How do you hold on to this lead? the safest way possible. 
just making the right decisions, passing the ball when the guy is open, and don't make silly plays. By that I mean not forcing the ball too much. So you have the lead. Just pass the ball around and try to get a good shot. If you have opportunity, then use it to get some easy basket. Yeah, I see. Coach Xavier for Aston is speaking to his team right now. He's saying, just play the game, don't watch the score. Just make sure you play as, as well as you can in four minutes to try and make a comeback. So Stoke needs to be aware and make sure they take care of the ball. The most important thing now is taking care of the ball for them. They have a 10 point lead, it's a comfortable lead. It's not, you're not 100% sure with a 10 point lead, but you're comfortable enough to control the game and bring it home. Athletic guy finds King wide open. He should have taken that shot. A three pointer by Osborne, but it doesn't count. Oh. Three second violation. Yeah, three second violation called <coughs> on King. And now, Mike Jarrett. Stoke running, to, trying to run the clock a little bit. Marcel Kofi find Mike Jarrow for another three pointer. Wide, wide, bent uh, you with the rebound. Extra now, possessions. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to run the clock a little bit. Relax. Bent you comes to set the screen. No basket. Shot caught violation by Stone. You know, they relax, they relax a bit too much, causing the shot clock violation. Definitely. Three minutes. Three minutes left. 71 59 third playing game. They just need to hold on. Good defense. Right off from start. And the foul at the rim by Ben on Hayden, who will go to the rim. You know, some he's always fouled good to like when you have no option to foul a big man because most of them struggle at the line most definitely yeah but you have to be careful to not get in foul trouble Aiden makes the first Seventy-one sixty. 249 left Aiden makes them both Now, Mike bringing the ball up, guarded by Obi Shaker. Jara, very good ball handling. Splits the double team, finds Ben for three. Webster Smith gets the step, a wide nice open. Dish. Ben, in and out. Mike Jara for three, no good. Marcel push. Webster Smith nice again for three and misses. And power. Oh, what a pass. Nice pass by Osmo. He's fouled and one. Eight point game. If he makes the free throw, it's going to be a seven point game. It was a 19 point game earlier in the quarter. What happened? It's very dangerous when, you, when you're shooting outside shots. And uh, the, the danger is that the opposing team can run a fast break very quick. And this was the case. Yeah. The player got an N1. Stoke were a bit unlucky that they missed 
two or three shots wide open from the free. 71-64, two minutes left. Kofi finds Ben. Mike John mishandles the pass. Oh, shot Gets inside Mike. the three point line, pull up jump. Pull up jump. Stoke nearing this win that would mean or probably mean the championship for them. As you can see, the look on Aston players' face, they know they probably lost it there. They would they managed to bring it back to just a seven-point game, but then these two Stoke scored on consecutive consecutive plays to push the lead back to eleven. One minute fifteen left. Stoke managed to pass the ball around to an open guy who finally made a shot from the mid-range. It was just a matter of time because most of, most of the Stoke shots were open. It's just that the three-point shots weren't falling. So now they went a bit closer to the basket and the mid-range was falling nicely. The ball movement has been great today for Stoke. All players getting involved. All players getting touches, moving without the ball, you know. And defense too, contested jump shot. They, you can tell they studied the other team very well in the film room and came out prepared to face them. That's one of Sean's like main tactics, just studying the team. Studying the team very well, know everything about them before you face them. Some inside passing from Sasta. And a trouble called on Angley. Stokes ball with one minute ten left. Marcel Kofi almost the ball but gets finds back. Mike Zara for three misses. Then foul called on Zach Powell. Trying to go for the steal. And he's fouled out. Fifth foul on Powell. Who fouls out now with 54.6. And Stoke getting closer and closer to that great, great win today. And now a technical call on Powell for complaining. Complaining about the call. A technical call for me. So Stoke will shoot the free throw. So now, as we approaching the end of the game, uh, what do you think of Stoke's performance? What are, what are the main things that allowed them to win this game today? It's been very solid from the defensive end from Stoke. Um, Every player was hustling, everyone was intense and uh, trying to get every hustle ball, trying to grab all those offensive rebounds um, and just running running fast break yeah. using those transition, transition baskets. Yeah, they came into the game with that look in their face like this is our, this is our court, yeah. we're gonna end the game victoriously. You know, the, the the home court advantage has, has been very big today. You know, all the fans supporting their team. You know, most of the fans in here know the players so personally, so they're very excited supporting them today, and that's been a big factor for them. So the technical free throw was missed. 
And yep. uh, we have 454 seconds left in the game. Still an 11 point game. The referees are discussing something there on the scores table. Yeah. A lot of interruptions in this fourth quarter. He's trying to check maybe the numbers of fouls. So as they stoke, it's nearly, it's almost winning this game. Um, how big is this achievement for hoop skills and show getting these guys to be on top on the ABL as this is the first appearance of the ABL because they were only in regionals earlier. Now they come in the ABL the first time to get on the top. It's a huge boost, huge boost for the city and the players. This will attract more and more players from all, all over the England. Yeah, bend to the rim with the right hand. Nice inside passing for the band. 17 point game, 77-64. And now a desperation three for Aston Obusheko. Nothing draws, nothing air ball. Stokes ball with 34 seconds left. John running the break. Almost finds Mike Jara deflected to Stokes Stokes ball. Luke Webster miss inbounding. Twenty-five seconds left. Seventy-eight, sixty-four. Last few Marcel possessions. running the pick and roll with Ben. Finds Jara for three, and this time is an air ball. And that's out. So Aston ball. So now Stokes approaches to win this game. Seventy-eight, sixty-four. Are they on top of the league? They have some other Division Three games this weekend. But how much is, is this going to be a boost once they go into Division 3? Knowing they have the momentum and all the excitement for this big, big win today. Yeah, definitely. Every win is a, is a great morale boost. Especially when you win against the top team in the league. So this will definitely be a, a great thing. As time runs out, Stoke and wins. So 78-64. Their hype, you know, great, great game plan today, great coaching today by Jameson. He, 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 he made a, a precise game plan to contain the uh, power and Obusheko who were the two best scorers, especially on defense. Defensive intensity were there on offense. He made sure everybody moved the ball, everybody communicated well, and Stoke gets on the double. This is a nice game, quite high scoring game at the end, yeah. it, looked, it looked like it's going to be a low scoring game at first, but the players got hot, he started making more shots. In the fourth quarter, and now that's it for today.